everyone! I'm so glad you are back for our next lesson. Let's quickly review a few things we've been working on. First, what is the word that means to tell how two things are similar? It starts with a C. Compare. And what is the word that means to tell how two things are different? This also starts with a C. Contrast. And here's our poster to help us remember that. So far, we have compared and contrasted two pictures and two words. Well, we can also compare and contrast two very short stories. Let's read through these stories together and be thinking about how they are similar and different. Follow along as I read aloud. The soccer game. Bobby had a soccer game on Tuesday evening and he was ready to go in his green jersey. He was so excited and really wanted to win, but his team lost. When the teams lined up to give high fives to each other, he stormed away, grabbed his ball, and left. That was our first short story, and now follow along as I read the other story. Jack's basketball game. Jack had a basketball game on Saturday and put on his green jersey. He was really hoping to win, but his team lost. He walked over to the other team, managed a smile, and said, good game. Okay, now let's compare these two stories. How are they similar? Let's see. In both stories, there was a boy playing a sport. They both wanted to win and they both lost. Oh, and they both had green jerseys. Okay, and now let's contrast these two stories. Whisper how they are different. Well, in the first story, it was a soccer game on a Tuesday. And then the other story, it was a basketball game on a Saturday. In the first story, Bobby was very mad when he lost. He grabbed his ball and stormed away without high-fiving the other team. But in the other story, Jack was calm when he lost. He smiled at the other team and he said, good game. Okay, so what did we just do? We compared and contrasted these two short stories. And I want you to notice how some of the similarities and differences are actually more important to the meaning of the story than others. Which do you think is a more important similarity? That both boys wore green jerseys or that both boys lost the game? Yeah, that both boys lost the game. That was one of the most important similarities since that is what caused the boys' reactions. Which is a more important difference, do you think? The way the boys reacted to losing, remember one was angry and one stayed calm, or that they played on a different day of the week. Remember one was Tuesday and one was Saturday. So which is it? The boys' reactions to losing were a much more important difference than the day of the week that they played on. Now it is good to notice even small similarities and differences when you're reading, but it is really important to be able to find similarities and differences that are really meaningful in the stories. Let's do this again with two more short stories. Here's the first one. Follow along as I read. Plant growth. Plants grow from seeds at different speeds. Trees take much longer to grow than flowers. An oak tree takes about 20 years to be grown. A sunflower only takes about three months to be grown. That was the first short story, and now follow along as I read the other one. Karen's plants. In April, Karen planted sunflower seeds. She watched each day as they grew and changed. Now that it was July, they were taller than her. I sure wish the acorn I planted last year would grow into an oak tree that fast, she said, but I guess I will have to be super patient. Okay, and now whisper how these two stories are similar. Let's see, both are about the speed of plant growth. They both tell about the slow growth of an acorn into an oak tree and a quicker speed of sunflower seeds into sunflowers. Okay, and now whisper how these two stories are different. Well, the first one was nonfiction informational, but the second one was a fictional story. The first one has no characters or setting, but the other one has a character and setting. What else? The first one gave facts about plant growth, but the second one was just an example of a character observing that plant growth. Again, we compared and contrasted two short stories. 
we found some things that were similar about both and some things that were different. Okay, that's all I have for us today. Next time, we will refer back to the stories we read today, so keep them ready in your mind. Bye, everyone. I'll see you next time.